I've already made one film showing you how to take a TurboCAD drawing into Google SketchUp 8 and use the 3D warehouse to bring in some 3D objects, a dog and a tree. In this film I'm going to show you how we simply bring in uh, things from the 3D warehouse into Google SketchUp and then into TurboCAD via the Blocks Library. So in this example here, which I found in the architectural samples in TurboCAD 17, although I'm using TurboCAD 18 here, we have uh, the house and the gardens, and obviously these things around here are supposed to be bushes, but they look more like apples to me. So um, we're going to turn these into bushes and add a little bit of colour as well, because it's a little bit dull. Now, all these uh, supposed trees are blocks, and as they should be. And here they are in the blocks library, it says tree. So, to speed things up, we're going to work in wireframe. We're going to go into Google SketchUp. I've already got rid of the girl. We're going to go to File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. And what we want is a bush. And to add a bit of colour, we'll get a red bush. And say, Search. So, straight away, top left, Dwarf burning bush. Just what we want. Great stuff. So I click on to OK. Looks like a two and a half D image to me. Download model directly into SketchUp mode. Yes. Here it is. So there it is. There's our bush that we're going to put into our uh, garden. We can measure it if we like. See if it's roughly the right size. Click on here. It says it's about 1.19 metre. That'd be okay, but even if it doesn't look right in TurboCAD, we can change the size then anyway. So then we need to save this. So we go File, but we don't go Save As. We have to export it as a 3D model. And I've already done this to save time, so here it is. I would simply type in the name here and type in the file type I'm going to use, which is a 3DS file. So cancel, and it's there. I can then minimize SketchUp and we're back here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this block because obviously all these objects are looking at this block so if I change this block all these objects will change. So I select the block, go to EC which stands for Edit Content and there it is. The first thing I see is I don't really like what I'm seeing here because I don't know where the work plane is. I don't like this, the, the, the grid just doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to create a uh, a box so I can relocate the work plane. Right, so this box is at the base, the, the box of this, at the base of this box, <laughs> the vessel with the pestle, the base of the box is the same as the base of the, uh, uh, of this bush. So I'm going to make the base of the box my work plane. Here it is, so that. So now it looks to me like the base, no, I think I've got the wrong one here, let's try this again, uh, it's that one there, that's it, that's it, the base, right, sometimes a little bit difficult to see. So the, the work plane that this, this uh, bush is sitting on is on the base of the bush. Now, and I know what relationship the size of this bush is to that box, so now I'm going to bring in via external references the bush that I've already saved. Now up to 18 you'd bring those in in format from external references but by the time we get to 18 it's insert create external reference. So the external reference I saved in my documents and as a 3ds file and uh, there it is red bush. It can come in as the centre, as the origin or the reference point, but the XREF, I prefer that as the base point. Um, I should be, able to, should be able to manipulate it easier, but we can change the reference point anyway. So here it is. For some reason, not quite the size we thought it might be. So let's uh, make it a little bit bigger to handle. Um, actually, we want it far bigger than that. Sometimes you're never really quite sure why these things change change their proportion quite so much. Uh, I think that's about right. I'm going to pick up the origin by hitting 
D, or the reference point, by hitting D, and I'm going to uh, snap it to V there, so it's on my base. I'm going to pick it up by just left clicking my mouse, taking my finger off, and I'm going to snap it to that corner there. This bit might be not, not necessary, but I know where it is now. Uh, I've still got my old one there, the old bush, which I didn't want, so I'm going to delete that. I should have probably deleted that earlier, but it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to delete the box, which I don't need. And the red bush is in there. And here I go on to the tick, finish edit content. And there you go. So now all those apples, those blobs, are now on our bushes. Or anything else really you wanted them to be. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I will warn you though that sometimes this goes wrong, you have to do it once or twice, size, get sizes right, sometimes they don't come in as easily as you would hoped. But you follow the instructions, first time you might muck up, second time I normally get it in. That's it.